we're talking coterminal angles with radian measure. So remember, coterminal angles, two angles that share the same initial and terminal sides. There are numerous coterminal angles out there, but we want to just find one positive and one negative. So multiple answers do exist in this problem. So we want to give you the angle of pi over 4. So I'm going to create that angle first. Here is 0 radians. There is our initial side. And to create that pi over 4, that's halfway between 0 and pi over 2. And this would be my terminal side. And there is my angle theta, let's call this theta 1, of pi over 4. To find a positive angle, I want to add one revolution more around. So if you think of it as adding 360 degrees or add 2 pi. So I'm going to put this in red. I'm going to go around one revolution. Now I'm at 2 pi. And then I'm going to add one more pi over 4. So now I'm at that same terminal side. So this will be called theta 2. So we take pi over 4 plus 2 pi. I'm going to create a uh, like fraction. So pi over 4 can be the same thing as 8 pi over 4. 8 pi over 4 plus 1 pi over 4 is 9 pi over 4. So one positive coterminal angle to pi over 4 is 9 pi over 4. There's my red angle. The other thing it asks for is to find the negative. So we'll call this theta 3. So now we want to go in the other direction. We want to start at this initial side, but now we're going to go negatively. We're going to go around until we get to that terminal side. So here's our initial, and there's our terminal. So what we're going to do now is we're going to subtract. So we're going to go in the negative direction. So we're going to take minus 360 degrees, or in, since we're in radian measure, minus 2 pi. So you take your negative 2 pi plus pi over 4, and what does that angle give you? So negative 8 pi over 4 is the same as negative 2 pi. Add a pi over 4, and we're at negative 7 pi over 4. So the negative coterminal angle for this green angle going from around here, for we'll call this theta 3, is the angle of negative 7 pi over 4.